Hello, I'm Royce from Grace City Church, and I want to know the Bible better. So, thanks for joining me, and we've been in verses uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, 3-5. to five. And uh, we have lots of notes to go over, and we'll just dive right in here. But first, I want to ask for the Spirit's help. Uh, God, I just pray that the Spirit works in our hearts, and that we... Uh, we gain an understanding of your word and what's important to you, and we just pray to be closer to you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, First Peter chapter one, verses three to five. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, according to His abundant mercy, has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that does not fade away reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Oh, I just love reading that over and over again. All right, um, I'm not going to do the John MacArthur one because look at all these notes. There's so many notes. So we're going to split that up in a few different videos, but I think for this one we'll do the Reformation Study Bible. We'll start there. If you haven't noticed, I have the verses up on top of the screen just kind of statically just staying there so we can refer to that uh, as we go through these notes. I'm still learning this program, trying to make it better for us and more organized. So, all right, uh, the Reformation Study Bible. And we're in verse 3 once again. According to his great mercy, uh, this emphasizes that salvation is based entirely on God's loving initiative and cause us to be born again although the verb used here and in uh, verse 23 occurs nowhere else in the New Testament the thought is found frequently and we'll read these verses in a minute and living hope the key word in, the, in this epistle is hope in the Bible hope is not uncertainty or wishful thinking but a confident expectation of future blessing based on facts and promises. Living indicates the undying and permanent character of this hope. Isn't that beautiful? Living hope in Christ. It's a, it's a confident expectation. It's not just wishful thinking. It's like we know this is going to happen. We just And this hope just overwhelms us that we're born, born to a living hope to that uh, inheritance right that's uh, incorruptible and undefiled this is like a for sure thing a living true confident hope I love how that was put all right so um, when it talks about caused us to be born again gave us some verses there uh, John 1 12 to 13 says but as many as received him to them he gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in his name who were born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. God is the one who made us born again. Um, you know, I'm just going to mention something. A lot of people think you got to receive him and then you're born again. But I'm going to say you won't want to do that unless you're born again. <laughs> so... Um, that's just some, that's just, uh, something that I've kind of discovered over the years, uh, that, uh, if we weren't born again, we cannot see the kingdom of God. Um, here's John 3, 3 to 8. This is about Nicodemus when he's having the conversation with Jesus about being born again. Jesus answered and said to him, most assuredly, I say to you, <clears throat> unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? <laughs> Obviously, you're right. Nicodemus is, Nicodemus is thinking like in fleshly terms, right? Uh, Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that it which is born of the spirit is spirit. 
Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes, comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. It's just a miraculous thing that God does, you know. I heard other people say, just like you didn't have any control over your uh, physical birth into this world, uh, so you have no control over being born again from God. So, um, uh, it's all by his mercy. It's all by his grace, right? Uh, it's all glory to God. We cannot boast about anything. This is all glory to God. So in Titus uh, 3, 4 to 7, it says, But when the kindness and the love of God our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us, through the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Lord, that having been justified by his grace, we should become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. So the regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. So being born again is an operation that the Holy Spirit does in our lives. The Holy Spirit. James 1.18 says, Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we might be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Of his own will. God was delighted to do this. To give people new births <laughs> bring him to Christ you know so he was delighted to save us in Christ his own will um, let's see I still got some time let's move over to the the NIV and biblical theology study Bible so once again this one looks forward to uh, verse 12 we haven't got there yet, but it's kind of nice to look forward to see what we might be getting into. Uh, praise to God. Praise to God for a living hope. Peter begins his letter with praise to God for redemption began in the Father's love and mercy for fallen humanity. In the several verses that follow, Peter lists the blessings that have come to those who have put their faith in Jesus Christ. Um, verses 3 to 5, Peter's dexology. Uh, Peter begins with uh, dexology of praise for what God has done by raising Jesus Christ from the dead, through which God gave Christians new birth into an eternal inheritance. And verse 3, zoning in on verse 3 now, new birth. A sweeping concept alluding to the identity, citizenship, socio-economic class, <laughs> you can tell I don't say that word very often, and innate potential that people receive at birth. New birth implies that Christians have a new identity and character that redefine, redefines their relationship with God and with society. Peter looks to what God has already done by raising Jesus from the dead to the present uh, preservation, preservation, <laughs> there it is, of those who are gods, into the future inheritance when salvation is fully revealed. All right, still got a couple more minutes left. Let's do this New King James Study Bible. All right, verse, dialing in on verse three again here. According to his abundant mercy, our salvation is grounded in God's mercy, his act of compassion toward us despite our condition of sinfulness. Has begotten us again. God has given uh, believers a new spiritual life that enables us to live in an entirely different dimension than the one our physical birth allowed. That's really cool how, he, how this note gave that. Uh, that's a really good way to look at it. Uh, to a living hope. Hope here does not imply a wishful, wishfulness, but rather a dynamic confidence that does not end with this life, but continues throughout eternity. Uh, through the resurrection, although, the, although this phrase may modify the phrase to a living hope, the context suggests that it is to be understood as the means of our salvation rather than the means of our hope. 
So I see that uh, the ESV Study Bible and this one, uh, they kind of, well, never mind. This one just uh, suggests, the ESV kind of suggested two different uh, things, like is a resurrection, um, you know, for the living hope, or was the resurrection for being born again? And probably both, <laughs> you know, without being Jesus dying for us on the cross, there'd be no born again, and there will also be no living hope. Um, we would have to have our sins forgiven through Christ on the cross um, to be born again, I imagine, right? I, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. But anyway, um, it gave us a verse in 1 Corinthians 15, to 12 to 19. Now if Christ has preached that he has been raised from the dead, how do some among you say that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ is not risen, then our preaching is empty and your faith is also empty. Yes, and we are found false witnesses of God because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he did not raise up, if in fact the dead do not rise. For if the dead do not rise, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ is not risen, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. Then also those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men the most pitiable. <laughs> so, if Jesus did not raise from the dead, our faith is futile. We're still in our sins. We believe that Jesus rose from the dead, right? And we believe that one day we will raise from the dead as Christ rose from the dead. I mean, this is amazing hope. I mean, this this resurrection, it's like there's more to this life. We're looking forward to what's to come after this life. It's like, this is not all that there is. There is so much more. We're going to be resurrected into eternity, into paradise, into a better country, right? This is amazing hope that we have. And if Christ didn't raise from the dead, then none of that hope exists. So it's so central around Jesus being rose from the dead. That is glory written all over it. <laughs> so, all right, uh, we'll stop it right there. And... Um, Thanks for joining me once again. I'm hoping we're learning a lot, like usual, and we'll pick it off. We'll, we'll, we'll just take off where we left off next time. And remember, we live in this body and faith in the Son of God who loved us and died for us. God bless.